Hey guys, Kyle Mueller here with another nice little video for you. Today I'm going to be showing off a nice little hidden operator in the M language that I discovered that I haven't actually found a lot of good documentation on. This is something that I think is really useful, especially when you're working with turning things from a format that an end user might send you into something that can actually be used in your data model. So without further ado, let's go ahead and pop on over to my laptop and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So. If we take a look at our sample file here, we can see that I have a really nice simple thing built out for us where we've got a list of item ranges with a couple different attributes after it. And this will look a lot like something an end user might send you when you're working with categories of items. So we can see here that column A is showing us items 1 through 10 are associated with this date and they are blue. Items 11 through 20 are associated with this date, and they're orange, so on and so forth. And we want to turn that into something that can actually be used in our data model. So we're going to pull this into Power Query, and I'm going to show you how to get from this item range into an actual built-out list of items, as we can see in our end product here. Importantly, we're also going to be making sure that we preserve all of the information that's associated with that item, so we can see the items 1 through 10 here all still have the correct date associated, and they're all still associated with the color blue. So let's jump into Power Query, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, so now that we got that table pulled into Power Query, we got a pretty simple list of items that we're going to go through in order to actually get that to the point where it's something that's loadable into our data model. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to take this column of item ranges and we're just going to split that out so that we actually have a starting value and a ending value. So in order to do that, since we can see right now that everything is separated by that dash, we're just going to split by delimiter. Click OK. And now we can see that we have a starting value in this item range dot one column and our ending value in item range dot two. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add a custom column into here. And in this custom column, we're going to be creating a list in each row with all the values that go from value 1, our starting value, to our ending value. So I'm going to name this column our item number. And in here, the first thing that we're going to do is open up some curly brackets. These curly brackets are used in the M language to denote a list. And so since we're going to be creating lists, we're going to use those curly brackets. Once we have those curly brackets, I'm just going to very simply put in our starting value, item range dot one, and then I'm going to put two dots after it before item range dot two. This little two dot operator here is something that I haven't found a lot of documentation on, but once we have those two dots inside of our list notation, that actually tells Power Query that we want to list all items ranging from our start value to our end value. We can see that no syntax errors have been detected, so I'm going to click OK here. And we can now see that we have a list in each individual row. And if we look at our preview for those lists, we have all of those values from our start to our end. So now we're just going to clean things up. I'm going to remove those two original columns for us. And now we can simply expand out each of those lists into new rows in order to get something that can be loaded into our data model. I'll move this back to the start just so that it looks exactly the way we want it to. And now, if we close and load this query, we can see that this will spit out a table for us that is actually able to be loaded into a data model. And it's in a machine-readable format, plus we preserved all of our original information for each range of values. So that's it for today's video. A nice short one for you guys, but I want to show off this hidden little operator that I found inside the M language that I think is really helpful for turning things from a human readable format to a machine readable format for your data models. If you have any comments, questions, or tips and tricks of your own that you want to share with the world, feel free to toss those into the comments section below. We would love to engage with you on that. And if you want to stay up to date on all the other Power Query content that we're pushing out, as well as other topics related to modern workplace initiatives, feel free to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next one.